Katia V5, let's take a look at the explode within assembly design. So we see that we can do a selection for the element. By default, if nothing will be selected, the product, so the top product will be added. And if I will click apply, we're going to see that we're going to receive an information box. And we are notified that we can now move the products with the 3D compost. So I will click OK. And if I will zoom out, we're going to see that all the components will be positioned like this. And we have a slider from 0 all the way to 1. And depending on where we're going to position this, we're going to have that scroll exploded animated. So if I will go all the way to the front and I will choose to show the last frame over here, we're going to see for 0 and 1 those two endpoints. But you can also adjust this in order to to select the desired one. And just like we were notified, we can select individual elements, for example, maybe this gear over here, but I will need to enable the compass so that I can snap to it. So I will click OK. We're going to have those moved into position. And afterwards, I can enable snapping. I can select the element. And I have the possibility to better position those depending on the personal preferences for the exploded view, you can have those moved around. Now, as we can see, if you're going to use the explode over here at the top, this will have a, let's say, destructive effect, as we are going to have all of those positioned like this, so we won't have any constraints, and most importantly, we won't have any applications over here. So if you want to use the explode view and you don't want to be, let's say, a destructive operation just like this one, I will press Ctrl Z to have that undo. So we have the assembly like this. We can enable the enhanced scene over here. And within the enhanced scene, I will go for overload mode partial. And we're going to have another button over here for explode. So those two will be the same. So they have the same um, the same icon over here, as you can see, the original one and uh, the one we need in the enhanced scene. But the main difference is that if you're going to use the enhanced scene, Katia will create an application over here. We're going to have the scene defined over here. For me, it's currently scene three because this will add incremental so we, the first one will be one the second one two and so on and again we're going to have the possibility to do that exploded view which will act the same so we're going to have the product i will click apply we're going to have those components reposition and just like before we can now select individual elements and we can have those moved or we can move this explode um, slider over here. If I will click, for example, apply like this, this will do another explode. So keep that in mind. I will just go maybe to 0 0.5, hit OK, because I want to keep this exploded view. And now if I will leave this enhanced scene back to the default view, we're going to have the, um, the assembly, let's say, still within the original position. So we won't have that exploded view. And if I want to create a 2D drafting for this, I will click OK. So we're going to have an A4. I will just increase this to, to something like A2. And now if I want to add that exploded view to the 2D drawing, we can make use of the isometric view over here. I can click on that. If I will just click it over here in the viewport, this will not give me that exploded view. This will just give me the isometric view of the assembly. So I will double click the scene three over here to open it. And now if I will click on one of the component, we're going to see that those parts will be added over here. And if I will click OK, we're going to have that converted. We can now define if you want to scale this. So for example, maybe I want to scale this like that, so it will better fit the, the paper. If you want to change the visualization, we can do that as well. 
we can go within properties and we're gonna see that by default this will be set to the exact view over here but we can change it for example to raster and we also have the possibility to choose a different shading for example i can choose this to be shaded with edges i will click apply and we're gonna see how that will be updated over here to the, onto the 2d drawing so this has been converted to raster that means that um, they will be defined by pixels so this will no longer be a vector drawing but if you want to have that you can always change within the properties and you can change something differently for example we're going to have the exact view you're going to see how that will update and you're going to see the difference between that raster and exact view. Now if I will zoom onto that, this will no longer be defined by pixels. This will actually be a vector over there. Okay, so this is how you can use exploded view. And if you don't want to use it within a destructive way, I highly recommend to, to use the enhancing option over here. So I hope you find this video useful. I will position an animation over here at the bottom consider to give this video a like or also consider to subscribe for more katia v5 tips and tricks that's it thanks for watching